Hello guys, welcome to my new series on my channel How to develop a game for beginners And in this tutorial series we will cover how to use the Unity engine and how to make your first game um, You don't need to program anything We will use um, already finished scripts from the asset store or the standard assets Here, um, maybe um, there will be another series um, in the future for advanced users um, that um, contains um, how to make your own scripts for Unity um, but now it's less for now let's start with the guide for beginners so um, first we um, start with a new project um, here, here you can uh, set your project location and um, I just pick my so yeah you basically have to create a new folder and um, name them like your project um, beginner tutorial select this and yeah now we can um, select um, already used or um, assets of the st uh, standard assets um, but first we will select nothing from here and um, we will use the default 3d setup and let's create the project that should take a minute and there may be this may be this just say for um yeah that's how it looks like when you have a new project um yeah so um, that's here is our game view. If you don't have this kind of um, layout, you can choose another layout. Uh, can choose your layout here. Um, I mostly use um, tall, no wide. Yeah, or default. Yeah, wide or default. Um, you, but you can also use, for example, um, two by three. That's um, okay too. Um, yeah, for a beginner, I would use the, f um, the default layout. You can define your old, uh, own layout if you drag your Windows and um, just say and press save layout. So um, basically, here we have our game view and that's our scene view. Um, in our game view, we can, um, yeah, watch our game, and in the scene view, we, in the game view, we see everything what our main camera see, main camera sees, and in the scene view, we can see everything. Um, we can navigate by zoom in, zoom out um, with the uh, mouse wheel. Um, you can track around if you just press your mouse wheel down, then you can track around. Um, you can um, move your camera if you press I um, the Alt key and just um, click anywhere and then move. Um, yeah, and the game object that you just see here, um, that is the camera. Um, yeah, we come back to this later. Um, if you press play, you will see our um, it's um, automatically sh switch to our game view. And um, let me just uh, edit my preferences. Um, I changed it here to a red play mode tint um, that I recognize if I'm in play mode. Sometimes I forget it, um, but just let me reset this. So um, you have to do that. Just ignore that one. Okay. Um, you can first. We will start by changing the background color. It's very easy. You just um, click on your main camera, and um, yeah, here you can click on this color field and just change your color. Um, Notice that um, here, um, this is the hierarchy. 
here are we have a list um, of all our objects every object that is um, represented here um, is also in the scene and if the camera sees it um, you will see it here um, you can select it and um, inspect your components of the game object that is in the scene um, like the position or rota rotation or yeah the single components um, and you can edit the properties of the single components here um, notice that you can all do this what uh, wait a second let just let me create a cube um, you can create another game object by just um, selecting game object create new game object also for example 3d game uh, object and then cube there you have a cube um, you notice we don't see anything anything we have to move the cube into the um, range of the camera yeah just let me move this a um, little bit back so um, we now see the um, cube in here and I just created two I only need one um, yeah we can change the position of the cube by dragging uh, dragging the three um, axes um, or we can um, press the, the um, colored planes to move them on one um, axis and you can change your free view also by pressing these little um, directions and if you press one of these you will notice that you change into um, orthogonal mode press again to uh, change to perspective mode if you are in orthogonal mode um, it will look like you have a it, your game is 2D and that's also used for 2D games but um, we want perspective because also our camera is perspective if you want to have a three, uh, 2D game you just have to change the projection to autographic so um, we have our cube but um, it don't looks very good because we have no light just create a new light game object create light and um, if you want something like um, um, spotlight um, use, you're gonna use the spotlight and um, point line is like um, a light that um, spotlight only lights in one direction point light lights in every direction and directional light lights only in one direction but everywhere um, and the directional light um, is like the sun in real life um, and because it has everywhere the um, same direction um, it don't matter on what position um, the sun is located uh, the directional light um, but you can change rotation of the object to um, yeah for example to adjust the daytime um, notice that we can rotate the object by um, typing in these fields um, values like I do and you can also click on the um, X1 uh, X, Y or C um, and then drag up and down you also can here select um, the rotate tool to rotate the sun or you can um, click uh, axis to rotate the sun only in one direction um, in this mode you can um, change the size in um, our case it's a sun and don't have a size but we can change the size of a cube in one direction if you want to change it in all directions just um, select the um, cube in the center um, you can change yeah, the 2D size that's mostly used for 2d objects and here you can select your yeah tool to track around without pressing the middle mouse button um okay 
Now we have our cube and it looks like it has a um, perspective now. Let's just make it a little bit more smaller. Okay. You can also switch between these modes with Q, um, W and E. Um, and uh, here and T. Um, so and um, you will notice um, if we select our cube in our HG, we can, um, yeah, as I said, we can inspect and edit the fields in here. But you will also notice that we have different components. The component transform has every um, game object, like I, the light, for example, have also a transform. Um, that's because every game object has a position in the room, in the uh, in the scene. And we can also create an empty game object. Then this is only, if you go in this mode, you can only see the position, but nothing else because it has nothing else. You can add a component, like a light component. So now that's for example a point light spot directional and area light um, yeah just use um, you can see here it uh, is basically an area but you can't use this with unity free and you can only use this with bake, baked light maps um, yeah but that's another topic so we want to uh, use um, for example now we have already a directional light um, Per scene, you only need one. Um, because of this, we now, for example, can create a spotlight, and um, you can see. Yeah, we had a um, empty game object, and we added a component, a light component, and now we have our light. We also can remove this component by clicking on the little gear, remove component. Can add components by searching them or um, selecting its category. For example. Um, another camera or uh, audio, yeah. Um, our cube, for example, has three um, components. Um, one mesh filter that has a link to the mesh. A mesh is um, contains the coordinates um, of the um, edges and vertices of this three object. The mesh renderer um, renders this um, mesh in the scene or in the game view um, yeah you can select the material or um, um, change some settings but the important component here is the collider um, I think in the next episode we will work with um, physics and I show you how to use physics in uh, games uh, and for that we need the collider component um, because this um, um, yeah this is basic, says basically basically the um, bounds of the collision box um, in most cases the collision box is like the mesh um, but if you have complex meshes you um, w don't want to use the mesh collider. Um, there are a lot of types of mesh colliders. I can show you them. Collider, just type in collider, and you see all kind of colliders. Um, mesh collider is if you import a 3D model of um, a house, you can use one mesh collider, or you can make your collision boxes out of a lot of box colliders. That's um, very performant, and I would recommend this. Um, you can change the um, collision box by yeah, just dragging the green box on the little yeah, planes here, make them bigger, smaller. Yeah, you can also do this for 2D objects. Yeah, um, we will use um, physics in the next tutorial. And I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.